Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of penetration testing and exploring the Metasploit GUI tool called Armitage. If you're interested in ethical hacking or cybersecurity, this video is for you. First things first, let's take a look at the Armitage interface. As you can see on the screen, it provides a user-friendly and graphical way to interact with Metasploit, which is a powerful penetration testing framework. Armitage offers several key features. Host management, you can easily discover and manage target hosts. Exploit automation, Armitage simplifies the process of finding and exploiting vulnerabilities. Session handling, it provides a dashboard to manage active sessions. Reporting, you can generate reports for your tests. You can easily install this tool in your Kali Linux or any other Linux distro just by typing the following simple command in your Kali Linux terminal. After installation type Armitage to start Armitage on your computer. Let's start with host discovery. Armitage makes it straightforward to scan a network and identify potential targets for your tests. You can use Nmap integration to accomplish this. Once you've identified your target, Armitage assists in exploiting vulnerabilities. It offers a wide range of exploits and payloads that you can easily select and launch against the target host. Managing active sessions is crucial during a penetration test. Armitage provides a session handling interface where you can interact with compromised systems, explore their file systems, and perform various post-exploitation tasks. Finally, Armitage helps you keep your tests organized by generating comprehensive reports. These reports can be useful for documenting your findings and sharing them with your team or clients. So, there you have it. Armitage is a fantastic graphical front-end for Metasploit, making penetration testing more accessible and efficient. Before we wrap up, remember that ethical hacking and penetration testing should only be conducted on systems and networks you have explicit permission to test. Always follow ethical guidelines and respect privacy and legality. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more cybersecurity and tech-related content. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay curious.